What does it look like to sit down with somebody and, and I'll give you my perspective on it and to make sure that you are clear on what matters most to them? This is where I, I feel like most team leaders are have not put themselves in a position to slow down enough and connect with another human being. Simply have a conversation with someone else and ask them like, hey, where do you want to be in the next three to five years? Write that down. As you're listening to this podcast, pause it and write that down. You have to go in and talk to all of your team members and ask them the question, where do you want to be in the next three to five years in your business, with your family, with your finances, and in other areas of life that might matter the most to you? Just ask them that question and engage in a conversation with another person. Me and my journey, I was so busy where I viewed my people, and this is going to sound horrible, it's the truth, I viewed my people for at least the first part of my business growth journey as a distraction and an inconvenience. Not because I'm a bad person, because I was so overwhelmed with production and building the team and building systems and trying to be profitable and evaluating lead sources and getting distracted and trying to be a good dad and trying to be a good husband and like all these things that fly into our world that take us away from the actual point of being a business owner is to humbly serve the people that agree to work with you. That is it right there. You have to be in a place of service and submission doesn't mean that you're, you let your people just walk all over you. You have to humbly submit to the people that are willing to work with you and realize that they're putting a lot on the line to work with you.